Hey guys, it's Carlo from Franusic Productions. And today I bring you a tutorial on Axiom Pro 61, a MIDI controller. Um, it's a great piece. It's uh, made by Avid, the same company that makes Pro Tools and other amazing products. I've been using uh, Axiom Pro since 2009. And today I'll show you how to assign uh, these pads to uh, corresponding keys on the keyboard. Now, if you were, uh, if you come from old school uh, using MPC, Renaissance, even machine user, or you're a beat maker, uh, percussionist, then uh, you'll find using keys, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, using pads is more convenient for you. And they really feel great. You have better control using pads for the drums. I'll show you how to do that. Let's go right to, right, let's do it. Uh, here, uh, I mean, I have able, uh, Ableton session open and I already loaded three uh, uh, drum sounds. We have a kick, snare, and hi-hat. And I put them on C1. We have kick on C1, D, uh, snare on D1, and hi-hats on E1. And usually when you load a drum kit uh, uh, to a drum rack, that's the kind of configuration you'll get. Mostly sit, uh, the kick will be, will be uh, assigned to a C1, snare to a D, usually you get uh, either snare 2 or bottom snare on E, F, uh, you get toms, and so on and so forth. That's a, that's a very common configuration. And now if you, here I'll prepare another <laughs> separate video to uh, record my key, keyboard. So I'll show you this. This is what I was saying. You see, here so we have a kick, snare, and hi-hat. And now how about if we wanna like if, well, if you uh, wanna use uh, your keyboard and start you can start recording right away you're good to go but how about you if, if you want to use the pads what happens let's let's listen okay nah this is not what we want because uh we probably want to trigger kick with the pad one our snare with the pad two and hi-hat would be um, the most logical combination to for a drummer or a percussionist, but you can really, uh, it depends on you, on your choice. You can assign any any path to any note. But let's assume we want to assign our pad one to a C1. So what we have to do, let's watch this video. Now, pressing nothing there because we have only three sounds. So these are our pads. First thing you need to do, you need to go over to uh, your pad and select the pad you want to trigger and this is how you do it of course select it and okay and then you come over and hit edit once you press edit you go to your uh, numerical key keypad press 2 and you'll be presented with uh, this uh, edit uh, edit window and you have all those different parameters that you can change you can assign you can you can really do anything you want but now let's focus on our note that's, that's what we uh, that's our target so you'll scroll these are called soft keys scroll down and keep on until you reach note then you select node. Now, once you select node, you come over to your encoders. These are called endless encoders, uh, and start dialing count uh, clockwise. Yeah, what I'm doing, I'm dialing. <laughs> this is counterclockwise. You want to go clockwise, right? Once you reach C1. Once you reach C1, you go ahead and hit enter the sub key. And after, you, I'm sorry, yeah, right, enter and after enter, you hit exit. Once you hit exit, you recorded that 
and now you're ready to trigger your uh, kick with the right that's what you want so the same process you're gonna you'll repeat for uh, uh, pad 2 and pad 3 to uh, trigger the uh, snare and hi-hat now let's go back to our uh, Ableton session now that we have our drums we let's assume yeah we record I already recorded something really simple. and now that I'm here I'm also I'll also show you how to uh, we have only three sounds I'll show you how to separate these how to individ so you have better control later on in a, in a mixing process and not only that uh, I'll show you how to print that final um, audio so let's go on, let's go ahead and create another uh, audio track I'm, I'm on a Mac I'll hit command T always use your shortcuts and let's rename it command R let's call it kick enter ok and I always recommend name everything this one ok since I have very this is a very simple session this is my microphone but I always name everything as you can see here you, I have my hi-hat snare kick and these are commonly used abbreviation you can use SN for snare as well always name everything it's gonna it's going to help you speed up your flow your uh, workflow now going back to separate uh, separate you know separation of the sounds so here we have our, our new audio track and what we need to do we we need to send uh, this uh, uh, kick sound to individually to uh, this audio track so in this section here uh, audio from we're gonna choose we need audio from drum, uh, drum rack and here in, in post mixer we're gonna choose our kick right here now the you can use post mixer because well post you would use this if you had some effects on that and then and on that kick and then you want them you want to record them uh, let's use post mixer and let's see what we get mm. right yeah. basically you can go ahead and record it so you just come uh, here uh, we we want to record only uh, kicks. So I'm gonna for a moment. I'm gonna I'm going to uh, uh, unarm. Uh. Okay. The there you have it. that's how you record it and that's basically it for this tutorial I I hope this can help can help you uh, uh, speed up your flow and I hope you find this interesting well if you have any questions please don't hesitate to send me a message if you'd like me to make another video on a specific uh, topic please let me know and take care now